Good, remember, keep your elbows in, keep the knees soft, twist at the top. Like this? Yeah, feel the difference? Hello, boys. Oh, hey, Mom. Dad and I are doing a Navy workout. Well, that's so. You can come back later. We're not gonna be done until 0900. Hmm, sorry, sailor. I'm gonna need you to go upstairs and get dressed. Oh, now pronto. But, Mom... Hey, this... your commanding officer just gave you an order. Yes, sir. Good morning. Not so much. I'm not sure I want you to be a role model to my son. It was just a little workout. Mm hmm And what about the cash you took from Adriana? Was that just a little incentive? What cash? Come off it. The only reason you're in Landview, pretending to be Shane's father, is because Adriana paid you to do it. Jessie's not doing well at all. I mean, she's virtually paralyzed. I, mean, I think Nash was the great love of her life. No, 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 no. You do not have the owner's permission to take that off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell's... What are you doing? Following orders. Well, just, hey, stop. Put it down. Just stop what you're doing. Look, you want to see the work order? Ugh, Duran. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, get me security. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Security? We've got a problem. What are you doing here? Is that any way to talk to a well-wisher? You and I don't really even know each other. But we do have something in common. Don't we, Charlie? Oh, sweetheart, I wish I could bring your daddy back for you. But I can't. But you always have to remember you've got mommy, and you have me, and grandma, and you have a whole great big family that really, really loves you. Let her get away. Dude, you got shot. It's a clean exit. Well, at least you memorized the license plate while you were bleeding. And uh, last I heard, gunshot victims are supposed to stay in the hospital all night. We need to find that woman. She knows what went down in the penthouse. She knows why Ramsey was killed. Did you get a description? Uh, that's the thing, and I really saw her face. You know, she, she was wearing some kind of hat, and she had on sunglasses, and she was carrying one of those stupid little dogs that celebrities like to have. <sighs> Police commissioner killed. Mystery woman sought. The mayor's society doesn't want us investigating Ramsey's murder. He's bringing in the feds to do that. You gonna abide by that? <laughs> As if you even have to ask. I'm running run the plates from the limo that the woman took off in. She was in a limo? Fancy. But wait, what about the sick and or injured woman that was up in Ramsey's apartment? When we went in, there was no sign of her. Well, wait, so what did she do? Did she take off or did somebody grab her? Listen, you know, when I heard those few words out of her in the surveillance van, it didn't seem like, didn't seem like she'd be able to go anywhere on her own. So we have two missing women. Hmm. Actually, according to the mayor, we got nothing. Wait, you talked to him? Yeah, yeah, I talked to him, and I was gonna tell him that I found Todd Manning in Ramsey's place. Are you kidding? Uh -huh. All right, well, what did he say? I don't know, bastard wouldn't take my calls. What the hell went down yesterday? How had the commissioner in their bind? Do you want to know if I killed him? Is that what you're asking? Sorry to interrupt, but uh, have you found out anything? How about the, uh, the guy who pulled the gun on us in the park? Somebody pulled a gun on you? Why didn't you call me? 
Well, we weren't hurt. I was going to tell you today. All right, look, I, I, I'm going to pull the report. You guys filed a, a complaint, right? Well, yeah, he didn't rob us or anything. He just asked us if we'd seen a woman with a dog. Whoa. Well, we didn't. Repeat that. He was looking for a woman with a hat wearing sunglasses carrying a little dog. Yeah, can you describe him, Chris? I'll do better than that. Yes, I know I was supposed to take care of her at the penthouse, but I told you a policeman showed up and derailed the plan. Yeah, yeah. The cop was the only witness that took care of him. I took him out, and I will do the same with the princess. I have a little lead on her. We were driving from the airport, she told me of a place called Landfair. the paper? Oh my, what a day. What a day. She blames the both of us. But she said that. She said she hates me now. Baby, no, 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 no. That is, that, 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 that's the grieve talking. She doesn't mean it. She can't. She loves you. This is my fault. No, no. This is Dorian Lord's fault. You were trying to help Nash. I am the one who lied, okay? I'm the one who gave way for Dorian to do this to the company. I am responsible for Nash's death, but you are not, and you should not have to pay the price. I know what your family means to you. I know how much you mean to me. You know, we should have been able to work this out. We still can. I will tell everyone that I forced you to go along with my lie and that I used your love for your family to keep you quiet. Absolutely not. You can get back what you lost, your place in your family. You can, you can be close with Jessica again. All you have to do is walk away. What are you saying? Tell your family you're done with me. That they, they won't believe me? They will if you walk away right now and you don't look back. Do you smell that, honey? That's lilac. Do you remember? I cut some lilac and I tickled your nose with it. I thought they were all gone by now, but I guess one stayed around to remind us just how fleeting life is. People leave us. Babies grow up so fast. I know. You know what? We should breathe deeply. Can you watch me? Big deep breath. And remember that lovely scent. You and I don't really have anything to talk about. Oh, sure we do. But before we get to that, there's the small matter of you getting sloppy drunk and doing something I warned you against. You hurt Vicky. Who in the hell are you to come in here and tell me? You're right. It doesn't matter who says it, it's true. The last thing in the world I wanted to do was hurt Vicky, and that's exactly what I did. The last thing in the world, huh? So why'd you fall off the wagon? I truly don't know. Oh, you must have some idea. You know, maybe it was just the way that Vicky looked at me when I told her that I wasn't really Rex's father. Or maybe it was just thinking about all the other lies that I was going to have to tell her about. It's not like I can't imagine a reason why I would have wanted to take a drink, but I just can't remember how. Go on. No, I just don't remember getting drunk that night. I don't even remember taking the first drink. I'm just spitballing here, but is it possible Dorian Lord had something to do with that? <laughs> 